It was made famous by the Fast and Furious movie franchise. It's sought after by collectors. And now the Toyota Supra is about to make a comeback. Supra! I'm Rick Walker, and you're watching the SST Car Show. Back in the early 70s, Toyota executives wanted something they could compete for the pony car market with. So they came out with the Toyota Celica. But for real car enthusiasts, it just wasn't quite enough. So they upgraded that little beast and turned it into the Celica Supra. And soon, the Supra became a car unto itself. In 1978, they came out with just the Supra for North America. That car was powered by an inline six-cylinder engine, producing about 110 horsepower. Now that car unto itself was no great ball of fire, but it was very reliable. It also handled great, and it had four-wheel disc brakes. Super, I count on it because it's built by Toyota. The overall result was a car that was fun to drive, but it was still a niche car. When we were at the SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas, Toyota had a display featuring one vehicle representing each generation of the Supra. First in line was one of those original Supras from 1978. Even back then, the Supra was really an attractive car. It handled really well. Car. Supra, you got it. The incredible new Toyota Celica Supra, the powerful pleasure. Then in 1981, they came out with the Mark II. The engine was still nothing to really write home about, but the car was still fun to drive. This is the right stuff. It handled really well, and of course, because it was a Toyota, it was reliable. Toyota really stepped up its game in 1986, though. That's when they came out with an inline six-cylinder engine producing 200 horsepower. The design really progressed from this wedgy shape to a more aerodynamic design in 1986. But that wasn't the end of the story. What really made headlines was the turbocharged version of that engine, which produced 230 horsepower. Back in the mid-80s, 230 horsepower in a car the size of a Toyota Supra? Well, that was really something. As fun as all that was, real car enthusiasts still wanted more, and Toyota was prepared to give it to them. And in 1992, they did just that, when they came out with the 1JZ engine. The 1JZ engine was a game changer because it was not only reliable and tough, it could be tuned to produce a lot more horsepower. Then, just a year later, Toyota stepped up its game again and came up with the 2JZ engine. Yeah, 2JZ. This is when everything really changed. With the 2JZ engine, guys were swapping out parts, putting on turbochargers, and even feeding it nitrous producing unheard of horsepower in the range of 800 horsepower. It was sleeker, it was rounder, it was cooler. It was a muscle car killer. It was that performance, that tunability, that handling, the whole package, that's what made the Supra a sought after car. Today, it's still sought after. What makes these cars really popular with collectors is the fact that you can take these things, tune them, get incredible horsepower out of them, and run with Aston Martins, Porsches, even Ferraris, Lamborghinis, for a fraction of the price. Today, some of those early 90s Supras can bring six figures. In 1998, though, Toyota stopped producing the Supra. But now a ray of sunshine is coming through. Toyota has confirmed they're bringing the Supra back. That's why they had that display at SEMA. One car representing each generation of the Supra. And at the tail end, yes, Toyota is going racing with the Supra. This car will make its racing debut in 2019 at Daytona in February. But even that is just a taste of things to come because Toyota has confirmed they're working with BMW to produce an all new sports car, a new version of the Supra. As we understand it, the new Supra will 
come equipped with an inline six-cylinder engine again, from BMW this time though, it will produce 335 horsepower. The new Supra will be unveiled in January at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. The SST Car Show will be there and will bring you the full story. So don't cry, the Supra is coming back. I'm Rick Walker, SST Car Show News.